cleaning clip. We're going to show you how to clean everything that you're going to use for Thai boxing, boxing, mixed martial arts, all the equipment and whatnot. Uh, it's pretty obvious what I'm doing right now. I'm washing my hands. And I'm washing all the way up to my wrists because that's where my gloves go. They go up, you know, whatever, four inches above my hands. So I need to make sure that I'm washing all the way up to my wrists before I put my gloves on. And this is the single most important thing you can do to help keep the funk out of your gloves. If you don't wash your hands and you put your hands in the gloves and you touched a door handle or a railing or whatever, whatever funk is on that railing, even though it probably doesn't stink, probably has bacteria and that bacteria is going to get in your glove and then that glove is going to start stinking. So that ends up turning you into that guy that stinks. No one wants to be that guy. So washing your hands, super important. Make sure you're washing your hands before you put your gloves on. Notice too, I have my flip flops on right now as I'm walking into the tile because the tile leads to the bathroom. But as soon as I step on the mat, barefoot. So come on over here. Whole bunch of equipment. And as I mentioned, the gloves is where it starts. If you wash your hands, I've had a pair of gloves that have lasted me a long time. They never started stinking. I actually had to throw them away because they just started wearing out, but they never stunk because I washed my hands beforehand. But let's say it's after practice now. So the main thing you want to do with your gloves as soon as you're done is not only wipe out the outside. And I'm going to do this. You're going to get to see it in real time. Uh, not only wipe out the outside of the glove, but also the inside. And that's going to be with a different wipe. So literally getting every single inch of the glove. For me personally, with this pair of gloves, I actually never undo the, the strap. This is just my uh, glove for light sparring and whatnot, so I want to be able to take them off. So in that case, I really don't have to worry about unvelcroing this. Um, but as I mentioned, you're going to use one wipe for the outside of the gloves. Why would you want to, say you just got done with a hard day of sparring and whatnot, and you're hitting other people in the face and in the body, and they're soaked with sweat. All that sweat's on your gloves. Why would you want to put it inside your gloves? So we always use one wipe. Uh, for the inside and then like I said one wipe for the outside. So the inside I'll actually use two wipes. And the reason for this is I'll get it up in there, I'll make sure that I get it as far as I can and make sure it's moved around but after I have these wipes in here I put it on the boot dryer and this is just one that I got from I want to say Walmart for 25 bucks but it's great because I literally just put them down on there. It's obviously not plugged in right now. I turn it to 120, it blows them dry, and then the gloves are good to go. Now, MMA gloves, these training gloves, a little bit different. As you can see, it's fabric on the inside, so uh, you might need to tra treat this differently. I simply just wipe them out, uh, and these are so open that they do end up drying out and they end up stinking. Uh, they don't end up stinking for a lot longer, I'll say. So I do the exact same thing for these. I would wipe them out, like I said, outside and then inside. And then you can actually put them, same idea, on the boot dryer. But as I mentioned, the insides of those are fabric, which is what these end up being. These are just regular fabric shin pads. And they're, they also have a foam inside. So you know the question is, well, should I wash them? And then people put them in the wash and they float. Well, how do you do that? Uh, I, I actually ended up putting, I tried putting stones in it to sink them down. I forgot to turn off the wash and uh, the stones were still in there. This was a while ago, several washing machines ago. Um, but uh, it wasn't good for the washing machine. So I found if you just, uh, just wash these with, you know, a minimum amount of water, uh, lots of detergent, it works and I would say the average set of shin pads are probably good for two or three washes so if you're wiping them out and then washing them they should be good to go now one thing that's different though is the leather shin pads so these I would wipe out or I wipe off and then same thing on the inside this is actually kind of a canvas I would wipe this out but these are about at their end of life they don't stink but they're getting to the point where 
they're just breaking down. Things are falling apart on them. Um, but as I mentioned, I've always wiped them out and they don't stink. So another easy solution to clean equipment. Moving on to pads. Tie pads, again, I would do the same thing. I'd wipe out, wipe off the whole pad. We do this with all of our pads every week. We set them all along the, uh, the cage and we actually spray them down with Lysol disinfectant and then we wipe them off. It's just a little bit faster, but it's the same kind of idea, it's the same disinfectant. Uh, and we get on the inside. This is actually, the very inside of this is usually kind of a suede and that will actually keep a lot of bacteria and whatnot on it. So make sure that you're cleaning out the inside of this. CPA MMA students, we do it for you. You don't have to worry about it. But if you bring your own equipment, make sure that you are doing this. Okay, so tie pads are pretty easy. Now, when you're storing these, and when you're storing all of your equipment, make sure it's in a well-ventilated area. We've been to gyms where they literally put everything in a big bin and seal it off. And when you do that, it just seals in everything. And then you open up that bin the next day and it's disgusting. So uh, if your gym is doing that, I would highly recommend advising them to maybe change their ways because you need to get air to these so they dry off. So as long as you do that with these, they're great. Now the focus mitts, this is one that you would slip your hand into. You need to treat it the same way as you would a glove and same thing with the tie pads. You need to make sure that they're being aired out or they're being dried by a boot dryer if you have your own. But as I mentioned, you don't want to put these in a sealed off area, a box, a locker, you want to make sure that they are drying out after you clean them. They're one of the reasons we moved to this, I guess you could say it's a hybrid tie style focus mitt where you actually have the handle. So you never have to worry about putting your hand into a funky uh, focus mitt because everything is aired out, it's easy to wipe off. We never have an issue with any of these stinking. So. Moving on to ooh, elbow pads, knee pads. With these, these have actually, I've washed these probably two or three times. They have leather, they haven't broken down and they're fine, but they do have the knee sleeve, you know, stretchy material, and that will get really funky really quick if you don't wash it. So you gotta keep that in mind. You gotta make sure that you're washing these. Um, and with all of this, if it's starting to smell like funk, just get rid of it. Like the gloves. We sell our gloves for 25 bucks. If you're gonna go and get gloves, you know, the $100 gloves and whatnot, it's gonna end up leading to you not wanting to throw them away whenever they are funky, and you'll hold on, hold on to them for longer, and as I mentioned, over by the sink, you'll end up being that guy, which you don't wanna be. Now, uh, let's see, ooh, headgear. Same idea, making sure you wipe it out. This is something a lot of people neglect. They just uh, think it's, it's, you know, I can just let it air out and it'll be fine. I personally, this is one of the first things I clean after I spar because this is what is going to touch my face next. So all of that clinch and everything, all of the other person's sweat, all of it getting onto the inside of this, I need to make sure I get it all out. And then uh, you can just let it air dry. So a boot dryer probably wouldn't be necessary for this. Disgusting story for you, by the way. I had one student that was sparring in another school, went home over the summer, was using headgear and was using gloves didn't wipe out the inside of his headgear and also didn't wipe out the outsides of his gloves ended up getting a staph infection from keeping his right hand on his cheek so he had a staph infection all the way down his right side from the glove coming back to his head not washing that putting the headgear on headgear getting funky from there on he washed all of his stuff so now what to do after all this is clean uh, again you don't want to just shove it in a locker you don't want to shove it in a, a bin but the other thing you don't want to do and you want to avoid is putting it into a duffel bag. Because a duffel bag, if you don't clean this and you put it into a duffel bag, then you go home and clean it, what are you going to do? You're going to put it back in the duffel bag, which is, you know, you're just putting something that was clean now back into something that is funky. So what I highly recommend is a mesh bag. These you can wash. I wash it a few times. The label's coming off, but I'll wash it and it doesn't get funky, everything airs out. So, hand wraps. This, this is a set of hand wraps, it's just still in the bag, but one of these, I think this is actually a gi bag, but putting your hand wraps in here will keep them from getting all 
tangled up in the wash and it'll also clean them. So a mesh bag for your hand wraps. And that's the thing with hand wraps, they're fabric. Wash them every single time you use them. Don't, wrap, God forbid, don't wrap them up whenever they're wet. Um, take them right home, put them in a bag, wash them. So make sure you're doing that with your hand wraps. And the same thing goes for all of your apparel and whatnot that you wear. Rash guards, um, fight shorts, tie shorts. Now here's the thing, with all of these, any sweat that gets on them, you wanna wash them, especially the rash guard. This is, the, the rash guard is probably the number one that guy funky thing that you'll find. If you go to a seminar or whatever, uh, I've smelled anything from roast beef to cat pee. It's disgusting. Wash your rash guard every time. And I'm gonna be going over all of this. I'm gonna be going over uh, how to clean all of this as well when we get into the other segment. So it's disgusting, but it's true. So make sure you're washing this. Same thing with the cup. I won't say whose this is, but it's a cup. Make sure you're washing that. Mouthpiece. Clean your mouthpiece every time you use it. I have, these are dollar mouthpieces that we sell. You can get them at Walmart for a dollar. Get 10 of them. Mold them all at the same time. Take one to the gym every time. Take the other nine. Put them in a jar with a mouthwash. Simple as that. Pull one out and then just change that mouthwash uh, regularly. But you'll always have a clean mouthpiece. Make sure that this always stays off the mat. This is one that's not molded, so I'm not really worried about where it goes. It's just for example, but make sure you're washing this. And another thing that people often neglect is what you're wearing outside of the gym. Unless your gym has a shower facility and you're putting on clean clothes, if you're walking out of the gym, whatever you wear out of the gym, the t-shirt that you're wearing, the sweatshirt that you're wearing, if that gets funky, and this is a big one, hats. So if you wear a beanie outside of the gym, right after you're done, you throw that beanie on, you were just completely soaked in sweat, that's gonna keep all of that funky sweat close to your head. Personally, for me, I shave my head, so uh, doing something like that could easily lead to staff on your head, especially uh, with hair follicles being so close to uh, the hat. So, and then the hat, obviously it's kind of hard to wash, but the beanie you can wash, um, but I can't stress that enough. Don't wear a hat over and over and over every time you train, that's disgusting, and you're gonna end up getting something, so. That pretty much covers everything, all the way from all of the pads, drying out your gloves, washing your hands, cleaning off uh, other equipment, washing wraps. Kind of gives you a good idea of everything involved in cleaning your equipment for Thai boxing, boxing, mixed martial arts, and leading all the way back to where we started, washing your hands. Make sure you wash your hands as soon as you're done as well. Uh, it's disgusting whenever your hands stink, so make sure that if your hands stink, you just replace your gloves. It, it makes so much sense. They're, like I said, they're cheap, especially here, and you can get a new pair of gloves. You don't end up being that guy. So, until next time.